what is purple, an oxidizer, and is extremely useful to chemists. That's right, permanganate. More commonly used as potassium permanganate, it is used to oxidize reactions in organic chemistry, or to burn sugar without a lighter. But in this video, we're going to be making sodium permanganate, because it's basically the same thing as potassium permanganate, and I don't have potassium hydroxide. To start, we'll be using sodium hydroxide, sodium nitrate, or another oxidizer like uh, sodium chlorate, and manganese metal, or manganese dioxide from battery pastes. You know, the funny thing is this reaction is basically the same as how the first report of sodium hypomanganate was actually synthesized. This was done by Hermann Lux in 1946. Anyway, to the manganese metal that I've obtained from a previous video, I added the sodium nitrate. Then add the sodium hydroxide. And to be perfectly honest, you don't need to measure this out. You can just eyeball it. As, I mean, the amount of permanganate made is tiny and it's really dirty, so it's just best to buy it. The next step is to blast it with a torch to get the reaction going. After a little bit, the mixture should turn from brown to bluish green. After a little bit more blasting, we can be sure the reaction is done. What we have now is sodium hypomanganate, which is a 5 plus oxidation state. When water has been added, it turns it into sodium manganate, which is the green form in the plus 6 state. This reaction also produces uh, MnO2, which is probably the insoluble particles we can see in solution. Now, you might be wondering, where did most of the sodium hypomanganate just go? And to that I say, I, I screwed up. I thought I could just add hydrochloric acid to, the, you know, to make the permanganate, but I must have added too much and turned it into MnO2 instead. So I just used sodium bicarbonate instead of the hydrochloric acid, and it worked out just fine. Turns out, in this case, baking soda actually acts as an acid for some reason. And what would a permanganate video be without mentioning the famous chemical chameleon reaction? Here we get to see the MnO4 go from 7 plus to 6 plus to 4 plus states. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. See ya!